Okay guys, this is a quick video about the TBE, the name of the company, Inverter, pure sine wave, 2000 watt with a surge. Here it is down here. It says it's got a surge. Continuous power, 2000 watts, 4000 watt surge power. Here it is. I've got it hooked up to um big battery there. That's a 200 amp hour battery I've got there. Right, so I'm just, I've just got it out of box. I'm just gonna plug it in now. Testing it out, see what it will power, hopefully. So it should be 2000 watts continuous and 4000 watts um, surge. So that's fantastic if it, if it works so let's see what I've got here I've got my hoover here let's just run this let's see so this is 1300 watt hoover 1300 watt hoover right Plug her in. Switch her on. What? Well, it was already turned on. It was already turned on. That was surprising. Now, I must have not turned the switch off. Now, I done this, tried to make this video earlier on, and it didn't work. It wouldn't turn that on. It would not turn this on at all. Let's try that again. The alarm went off. So it's plugged in, and now, try it. Ah, see? So I can't understand that, because earlier on, that's what happened. And then trying to show that that was going to happen, it didn't happen. It actually turned the thing on. So... Um, what's going on here? Was it a sequence? Was, you, was it that you had to plug it in before you turn this on, or do you have to turn this on before you plug it in? I'm not sure, but let's try that again. This is off now. This is in the, that's the on position. That's the off position. See that slightly recessed, and then it's up. So let's try this again now. It's plugged in, and I'll turn it on. That's on. That's on now. This is in the off position. Turn it on. No chance. The alarm's gone. Now, I'm going to do what I accidentally done earlier on, but it actually worked. So I'm going to turn. So over here now, this is plugged in, but it's switched off. All right. That's switched off. So now I'm going to turn this on. The button's depressed. And now, turn this on, see what happens. Well. Well. You heard it and you saw it with your own eyes. So... <clears throat> Turn it off. This is off now. Try it one more time. Turn this on. And now turn it on. And it shouldn't work. No. alarm again so turn this back on that's in the on position now and then turn this on well I think that's pretty conclusive 
I've done that two or three times then. If you want to run something as powerful as this with a motor in it, um, turn the unit on first, and then turn the inverter on. Because if you don't turn this on first, it won't work. So by turning on, I mean have the switch depressed, and then, as you saw, then it worked. No problem. So that's 1,300 watts. Now, this is going to confuse things a little bit now. Take that out. This circular saw is 900 watts. I'll show it to you now. There it is. This is 900 watts circular saw I've got. Now I'm going to plug this in. Plug it in here. Turn this on. Oh. The fans come on, first time. Uh, in the manufacturer's book it says it comes on when it gets to 45 degrees. So, well, why it's got hot, I don't know. I've just been using the hoover with it. The fan wasn't on then, but you can hear it. I can feel the fans at the back there, blowing out. Not sure if you can see. They feel quite powerful, actually. A little bit noisy, but I was surprised that it came off. But anyway, that's fine. Let's see now if it will power 900 watt circular saw. Here we go. One, two, three. Yeah. Not a chance, and for some reason, I have no idea, but the um, the fans obviously turned off. We'll have to turn this back on. Okay, so if this is on, the fans will work. Um, let's turn it off. Turn it off for a second. What else could I run? Okay, fan. I've got another fan here. It should be able to do this easily. This is 120. It's 128 watt fan. Let's see if I can show you that. It's either 126 or 128. It's difficult to read the labels on its way out. Now I'm going to turn this on. Okay, so it's a bit noisy, but the fans are coming on, probably because it was running the Hoover for a while. That's my guess. Now I'm going to turn this on. Problem two. And three. No problem running the fan, but then it's a hundred only 128 watts. Only 128 watts. Okay, so we can turn that off. Unplug that. Now, get my extension lead. Because I'm just going to try. That's quite noisy, actually, that inverter. It's a horrible sound. It doesn't sound just like fans. It sounds. 
don't know what, quite know what that noise is. But anyway, I need to plug in the extension lead because I'm going to try this generator now. This small wear compressor, which is 600 watts. I'll show you. There it is. 600 watts, and the cable on it is not very long, so I need the extension lead. Plug it in there, turn it on, one, two, three. Now that's unusual. This is working fine. Straight away, there seemed to be no lag, no delay, instantly came on, no problem whatsoever. And now this has stopped. Oh, hell. Actually, no, it hasn't stopped. I can still hear. I thought that the fans had stopped, but they haven't. I can still, now I've come over here, I can still hear that the fans are working, but that rattle noise that there was. They do feel quite powerful, they're blowing out a lot of air. I can feel it about a foot away. I can still feel the air being blown out of there, about a foot away, so they're quite powerful. But that, I thought it had stopped, because that sound, that rattle, rattling noise, uh, which, as I said before, seemed a bit peculiar, uh, that rattle had stopped. And um, now I can just hear the fans, and they sound quite smooth and powerful. I just don't know what that rattle was. But anyway, uh, the air compressor, just a small one, It's working just fine, so I'm going to turn that off now. I've turned it off, and the rattle has come back again, so I'm not sure what that is. Maybe I could sort of try mount it somewhere. But anyway, this is what it is. I bought it today, I've just unboxed it, I'm going to turn it off because it's noisy. Just unboxed it today, here it is. Received it an hour ago, and I just wanted to um, plug a few things in and see if it will do what it purports it's supposed to do. 2,000 watts, it says here, continuous power at 2,000 watts, 4,000 watts of surge power. Well, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous, um, I think, because it wouldn't power my circular saw, which is 900 watts. I did manage to get it to run the, the Hoover, which, uh, the vacuum cleaner, 1,300 watts, if you switch this on first and then turn it on here. But some things, you're not going to be able to do that. I mean, I don't think you could do that with a circular saw. How could you switch it on, put some tape around the trigger, go and turn it on, and come back and try and pick the thing up while it's jumping around the shop. That, I mean, you couldn't do that. Unless you've got two people one, people, one person to hold it and one person. But that's a lot of messing around. So, anyway, I did do a short video earlier on for myself. And um, the Hoover didn't work. The vacuum cleaner didn't work at 1,300 watts. This didn't work. The only thing that worked was the small compressor. Um, over there at 600 watts so I thought to myself well that's it then this is a, probably a maximum of 600 watts um, and it will pretty much run anything up to sing up 600 watts I've tried it with several different things fans the air compressor this power drill electric power drill had no problems with it. Um, it it's done all those things and now seems to have found a secret way of trying to, to get like, the hoover work. It will power more if you put the button down and turn it on first. So, I don't know. It will do that. But only if you hold the trigger down and then... But anyway, there it is. There it is, guys. So I'm not sure. I will be doing some more testing with it and see what it can do. Um, you know, I only actually need to power about two or 300 watts, the maximum. But um, it's nice to know that you are getting what they say it is. And um, 
I'm not sure that this one is, to be honest with you. And there's that rattle there as well. So, anyway, I'm going to cut it off there short. And um, thanks for watching. And uh, take care. Cheers.